Hello everyone, I'm going to do a video today on the Yokomo R12C3 front suspension roll center positions. Now the Yokomo C3 has different roll center positions that you can change. Um, all you have to do is just change the location of the hinge pins. Now, as you can see right now, uh, the hinge pin locations are at the kit setting. So the highest block with the 0.5 millimeter upper hinge pin block. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to zoom in and change the hinge pin locations of the lower and upper block. And you'll see down below the camber gain values will change. All right, so here we go. So this is lower middle hinge pin and lower. As you can see, the camber gain values have changed. Now I'm going to go back to the top and I'm going to change to the zero millimeter upper block. And you probably can see that the camber gain has changed. And let's go to the middle position and the lower position. There you go. Now the camber gain values will also change when you change the track width. Um, I'll give you an example here. So from 168, let's go to 166. And the camber gain values change a little bit as well. Uh, the camber gain doesn't really change a lot when you change the camber. Um, anything else? Um, I think that's it. I hope these values were of uh, significance to you. Uh, if you're wondering, if you're wondering what program I'm using, I'm using a program called RC Crew Chief, and this program will take uh, suspension properties from any vehicle that you have, a touring car, off-road, and it will calculate the camber gain for you. And it does many other amazing things. So definitely check it out. It's RC Crew Chief, and uh, it really helps with understanding your suspension and what it's doing. All right, bye-bye.